So, uh, interestingly, you know, in 2013 and then in 2018, the OAA's uh, site plan uh, review process, it showed that the cost of site plan delays is over a billion dollars in Ontario. Right. Um, so some really interesting ideas of how to change planning approval in terms of speeding things up, uh, cutting out the red tape, making things smoother, more yeah. efficient, and a lot more cost effective. And some of them, some of them are dependent on provincial law, but some of them are really dependent on, on local initiatives. Right. You know, deferment of development charges for highly sustainable buildings, right. things that can help with cash flow. Do you think those are things that we can see happen in, in the next few years? Yeah, I think there's been a couple of changes already towards site plan changes now, based on the size of building, uh, whether or not a councillor can pull de delegated authority at the committee. Uh, there's been a couple changes that have come in i think we'll see more and more of that as it goes particularly for buildings that are you know if we get our zoning right and our bylaws right and we're staying within that zone uh kind of site specific zone we're going to get those things where they don't necessarily have to go through this huge uh, rigmarole especially around sustainability uh quality built environment inviting people in people places affordable housing these are things that we need right now if we can get that uh, sorted at uh, the local level where it does become more efficient then I, yeah i think i think we can see uh, some of that progress being made in the next in the next couple of years.